And a Fox News alert. Former Vice President Joe Biden has officially entered the 2020 race two hours and 22 minutes ago. Biden is now the 20th candidate to throw their hat in the ring. But as the party continues its push left, can Joe Biden come out on top? Well, California Republican congressional candidate Omar Navarro joins us now to re react. Good morning, Omar. Good morning. What's your immediate reaction to the idea, as we heard from Dan Bongino earlier, uh, the idea that Joe Biden is sort of putting what Dan called identity politics front and center? Well, I mean, that's what the t typical playbook of the Democrats, they use identity politics to divide people. Um, they divide my community by using identity politics. You know, I was Latino growing up. My parents were from Mexico and Cuba, and I've noticed this growing up. I used to see Democrats all over Los Angeles using identity politics at their best. What do you think is going to happen with the Democratic Party? Because you've got so many that are so progressive, and Bernie Sanders is doing really well right now, according to the polls. But then you have those that are more central, and that's the, th those are the ones that will probably likely vote for Joe Biden. You know, one thing I've seen from the Democratic Party that they've been pushing a lot of people away from the Democratic Party. Uh, of course, you see a lot of inciting violence going on all over all over Los Angeles and California. A lot of people are conservative, can't even go out there. Uh, when you see Democrats, Democrats are going after Republicans and, and physically, not not and emotionally. And I think that's the problem that's going on right now. We have someone who's running for president who's had eight years as vice president. And I believe that ultimately is going to come down to the successes of Donald Trump. He's created four million jobs. He's had over 400,000 jobs in manufacturing. He's done a lot of good things. I think that this is the president we're going to keep in this next election. Well, of course, you would like to replace Maxine Waters in that district there in Los Angeles. You're the Republican. She's the Democrat. I don't know if you've heard, but she thinks the president should be indicted. Watch this. And impeached. There are many people around this president who have interacted with those from Russia, from the Kremlin, and with Putin. Where are they coming from? And I think when you ask yourself this question, you'd better be concerned about whether or not these are real patriots or whether or not they're in the pockets of the president of the United States. Okay, so uh, she's been pushing the impeachment. I know you tweeted yesterday, uh, on Waters yesterday, we must impeach you from Congress for encouraging threats toward Americans and our president. But I know since you are part of a protected class in our country, nothing will happen. The people can stand with me. They can empower me to stop you. They will. And then you've got a link right there to uh, donate to your campaign. Uh, what's been the reaction to that tweet by your campaign? Yeah. Uh, you know, as I researched it more, I, I looked at the Constitution and I look at Article 1 and I look at Section 5 in the Constitution and Clause 2, and I look at that you can actually expel a member of Congress for disorderly behavior. And for me, that's something that, that's viable, that you can do that. You, all you need is two-thirds majority of the vote from Congress. Uh, ultimately, people can still support my campaign. They can go and donate at omarnavarro.com. But ultimately, that's what it takes. You have to go out and you have to do something about it, and that's what I've been doing from day one. Well, in your district, how many people would like to see the president of the United States uh, impeached because she represents the people of your district? You know, when I walk around in my district and I talk to voters and I knock to different voters, you know, I talk to the Hispanic community, which is the largest community, it's 54% of my district. You know, you have to look at it that way. You have to look at what are the demographics. And when I look at the demographics and I talk to those voters when I'm knocking doors, the people want to see a, someone that's going to unite them. Uh, they're seeing Maxine Waters is dividing them and they're tired of it. They're, you know, they've already had her for over 30 years. You know, she's been in public service for 40 years. And I think that's, it's time for a change and it's time for someone that's going to bring back jobs bring back stability, common sense into our district, and I feel that I can do that. All right, Omar, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. You're welcome.